Welcome back Nerdlings. Today we're going to be looking at a few more of my giants. These have been recently painted, so within the last week or so, and basically they're just some more troops for the giant horde. So let's get into it. We're actually led by a Chaos Champion. Now this guy's quite quite a nice model. I haven't really seen many of this guy kicking around, but he sort of looks like a gladiator or something. He's got sort of one one bare leg and sort of, you know, you know, pauldrons and all sorts of good stuff kicking about. And he's, you know, got a bit of mutation as well. So he's sort of the I guess the leader of the pack. He's got the uh, got the smarts. Now on to the muscle. So some uh, pretty fun old school miniatures. I think they're Tom Mir, uh chaps. Especially like their sort of old school faces, the big nose and everything, and sort of the jutting out jaw. And of course, as usual, some cogs and odds, odds and ends on the bases as well. So we've got George the Giant. He's a nice one piece model. Just uh, kicking back, relaxing, doing a bit of shouting by the look of it. I do like shouting to the giants. So yeah, he's a he's a fun model, very old school, and uh, yeah, again these guys look sort of <laughs> almost like glorified ogres because they're they're kind of small compared to the sort of the warhammer giants that you can get now. But these guys are so much more characterful. I mean, look at this guy. He's got his big nose and his big ears, sort of striding along the battlefield. He even has a really nice. Sort of uh, pelt on his shoulder there that you can see. So yeah, I mean these guys are these guys are proper proper old school. I mean the detail is fantastic, especially for something that's just one piece. I mean it's quite you know three D looking. I mean it's still it's still got the two D. You can see where the cast would would come together to uh, create each side, but they're still really quite well detailed. And another one, this is, I guess this is his brother because he looks kind of similar, but this guy's got hair, so he's either not bicked his head or he's uh, he's the he's the brother with hair. He's got a little, <laughs> he's got like a little hand or something coming out of that bag there, so he's probably picked up a human. He's going to go and eat him later or something. So yeah, these guys are so much fun. I mean. <laughs> To be honest with you, I feel a bit guilty for not painting them before now. And we've got a, a light plastic uh, troll, actually. He's a, he's a Lord of the Rings troll. I think he's called Bert. And he's got a nice penny farthing. No, it's not a penny farthing. Again, penny farthing is a bike. That's a farthing penny. <laughs> Uh, this time from 1945, so we've got some actual old hammer <laughs> stuck to the base. And uh, there we go. He's still a little bit shiny from the, the matte varnish, but that will sort of matte out over over time as it sets and everything. I've only just sort of finished varnishing these chaps, but yeah, he's a, he's a nice model. I'll have to get the other two done as well soon. They're really quite cool. They're a little bit bigger than him though, so um, yeah, he'll... he'll uh, be a quite nice addition to the to the giant horde. And uh, today's added bonus is something that I was sent by my my good friend Litrick. It's a bloody big Dalek. So that's the size of a man's head, and this is the size of the Dalek. And he's painted it all rusty, just like all my stuff, and sort of corroded. And uh, he's an absolute menace. Look at him. He's freaking awesome. So yeah, he's uh, kindly painted me a a, uh, a nasty Dalek. <laughs> and look at the size of this guy compared to one of these. It's a, it's a, a giant Dalek. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any comments, you know where to leave them. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care now. Peace.